YouTubers. This is Rob Muffet. I purchased the uh, the Swivel personal cameraman uh, the other day. It was on for sale half price and after I got it I thought to myself uh, maybe I could do something special with it and, and put it underwater see if it would track a camera while I'm underwater. If you don't know what this is this is a little device. The Swivel is a, a they call it the personal cameraman. You can hook up your phone it has a camera on it or if, if you have a uh, like a Kodak Z18 or the PlaySport, you can attach it, and uh, it'll follow you around. If you hold this onto your clothes or clip it onto your clothes, it'll follow you around. So it's your own personal cameraman. But I was thinking, what if I could put this underwater? So I'm getting close to being, making a prototype, and I want to show you the parts before I cut them all up. To protect the uh, the, the little remote. Uh, I found or I used these underwater bags. They're a bargain. You can get them on eBay for just a couple of dollars. I used to make these little bags and before they became cheap and for sale on eBay. And they're not easy to make. And for a couple of dollars that's that's less than the raw material. So you can get those and this will fit in the bag and it works pretty good. First thing I did is I uh put the swivel device into a little container to see if the infrared remote uh signal would go through the plastic. And it did. Just this actually, if this was a little bigger, it would have worked because it has a gasket, and it'll go down. I've used these down to 10 feet before, 10, 12 feet, but it was just too small. So the next thing I did is I got a piece of plastic that this will fit in fine, and it's translucent. It's not clear, so I was worried about that. But the signal went through fine, and it tracked around fine. So I went to Walmart to see what thing I could find to uh, improvise, and I found something really nice. It's just really beautiful. This is a clear lucite, and it, it, it's very good. You you could see through it with with the lens very well, and it'll it'll go. I've used these types of gaskets before, down to about ten feet, and very shallow water. And it, you could actually modify this to where it could go much deeper. Um, however, I found something interesting. Even though the device will fit inside this clear container, which only costs about fourteen dollars, when you use the 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 device that sends out the IR beam, evidently it, it bounces around inside the plastic, the, the clear shiny uh, plastic, it causes reflection. So it would drive the little device crazy and it would never work right. So I went back to the drawing board and I, I remembered how the translucent worked and I got another translucent container and this is what I'm going to use. I've used these types of containers before. They already come with a little gasket so a lot of your work is done for you. And the device will fit down inside here. And then I'm going to cut a circle. And this is, a, this is the clearest glass I could find. It's not really good for, for video. But we'll just see how it works for the experiment. And we'll put this down and use the uh, hot glue PVC trick I use to attach that. And then the device will be inside here. And the camera will stick up through the top and come out. So when it rotates we should be able to see clearly underwater with this and we're just going down a few feet like five six feet in the pool you could also take this uh, when you go fishing you could put it under the boat and w watch uh, your, your fish being uh, fought on, on your line like I said this bag works really well keeps it dry so this is what I'm going to be doing so before I cut everything apart I thought I'd show you what the parts look like before I get them all cut up well, YouTubers, here's what I did. I put the glass on top with some hot glue. That I had, I put some glue sticks in a pan, melted them, then stuck the glass into to the pan, and that's the best way to get the glue on. The hot glue gun doesn't work. It it doesn't put on enough. It doesn't get hot enough. Um, now, I put some little wire hooks on the latches and put wire on the basket. I have four bricks in the basket to use as ballast to pull it down, but that's kind of dangerous. You never want to put stuff on your latches. I put some Velcro on the swivel and Velcro onto the camera. That way I could put the camera closer to the center so I wouldn't have to have the circle as big on top of the container. Um, the, the basket, because of the wires, they weren't even. When this was put in the pool, the swivel was uneven and it didn't rotate very well, uh, not as well as I would have liked. Uh, there was also another problem I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, you you uh, you want to check your little camera to make sure it works before you put it in the water, and I'm doing that here. It works fine out of the water with the with the container top on, 
in the glass and that particular plastic works well. I get a nice green signal light on the remote control. Um, now we're going to lock it up and like I said those hooks that are on the latches they're going to attach to wires that's on that basket and that basket has four bricks inside for ballast. Now I've got the little remote in the bag and it's, it's communicating with the, the little camera really well. It's not a problem. Now we're going to put it in the water and the glass worked out a little better than I thought it would. It is not, not bad at all. Um, you get a pretty decent uh, uh, video. And now I'm going to get the bag that has the remote and see if it tracks. That's what we're doing in this test to see if it tracks. Don't look at my legs. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, now I've got the remote. Here we go. And it's going to start tracking. But look, there's a little red light. Shouldn't be red light. Should be a green light. So evidently that IR signal, it doesn't do very well in the water. It doesn't travel as far as I thought it would. Um, I haven't done any tests for uh, distance yet. So, but like I said, it's tracking, but I have a feeling if I exceed the distance, very, go very far, it wouldn't be work, working out very well at all. So the test is, isn't complete. I'm going to have to do some more testing, but you can see the glass didn't work out too bad. It's watertight, and it is tracking. But how far I could go with it, I don't know. It's down about two feet, three feet right now. So hope you guys like my little videos. I add quite a few videos every week. I have over 100 little do-it-yourself, sometimes kind of goofy, crazy, crazy videos. Also, I have a lot of videos on making underwater stuff. If you like underwater stuff, I've got little videos on that too, making different types of housings. So this is how it worked out with the swivel. It's not complete to... Uh, test. I'm not really satisfied 100%, but I have to do some more testing. Thanks for watching, everybody. And like I said, if you want to go look at some other videos, I have. I make, in the past, a lot of different types of housings, and I put most of the videos on there. You can watch for free. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.